The problems with plastic bags are well known. They're filling up landfills, clogging up the oceans, and killing wildlife. Some places are banning them, others are imposing fees. But is this actually a good idea? Banning single-use plastic bags certainly seems to be the right thing to do. Canvas bags, made from natural cotton rather than nasty man-made plastic, feels like the way to go. Actually, and perhaps surprisingly, that isn't the case at all. Thanks to an incredibly in-depth Danish government investigation into the true environmental costs of the various bag materials, we know just how far off the mark that is. Essentially, more environmental resources go into making a reusable bag than a standard plastic carrier bag. This generates more carbon emissions, so to make it worthwhile, it needs to be used many times. To offset the extra emissions from production of a woven polypropylene shopping bag, it needs to be used five times before it is a more efficient use of resources than a standard carrier bag. Meanwhile, a polyester bag needs to be used only twice, and unbleached paper bags and biodegradable bags are about equal to a standard carrier. All good news so far. Standard cotton bags need to be reused 52 times, and if you get an organic cotton bag, that skyrockets to 149 uses. Now that is certainly feasible, but it was much higher than I was expecting. Climate change and carbon emissions are a serious concern, but they are not the only environmental concern. Water use, pollutants released during production, and end-of-life disposal all need to be considered. And that brings us to the bad news. When you take into account all of the other negative effects of producing, using, and disposing of the various types of bags, the landscape shifts dramatically. Paper bags are equal to plastic when only considering climate change, but with these additional environmental considerations, they now become 43 times worse than a plain old plastic carrier bag. Unless your shopping consists entirely of cotton wool or marshmallows, reusing a paper bag 43 times just isn't happening. This huge contrast is primarily due to factors such as forest depletion and water pollution released during the production process. Now there is one thing that this study didn't take into account, namely littering, and by extension the effect on wildlife. Obviously a paper bag that finds its way into the ocean isn't going to cause nearly as many issues as a plastic carrier bag. The polyester and woven polypropylene bags require 35 and 45 reuses respectively, which isn't perfect, but with careful use is certainly possible. The figures start to multiply rapidly when it comes to cotton bags. 7,100 reuses are required for a standard one, 20,000 for an organic one. If you took your innocent sounding organic cotton bag shopping five times per week, it would take you a little under 80 years for it to work out environmentally equal to use single use plastic bags. The energy required to grow the cotton and process the material alongside water use accounts for most of the huge disparity in resource requirements. In the case of organic cotton, organic farming means a restriction of synthetic fertilizers, which lowers crop yield. The biodegradable bags are at a similar level to the polyester bag and woven polypropylene bag, but they are significantly less durable. Reusing a polyester bag that required 35 times can easily work, while a biodegradable bag is a lot less likely to hold up after 42 uses. Regardless of what kind of bag you're using, using it as many times as possible before disposal is the best thing to do. With any bag, however, there comes a time when it's no longer fit for purpose and needs to be disposed of. Recycling would seem like the best bet. Actually, that's true for the polyester and woven polypropylene bags, but none of the others on our list. For the other materials, the best option is to reuse the bags as a bin liner. The environmental benefits of recycling the bag are outweighed by avoiding purchasing a single plastic bin liner. The biodegradable, cotton and paper bags are better off being incinerated. The extra emissions generated through the collection, sorting and recycling process are greater than the resources recovered through recycling. Now, I want to make it clear, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't recycle them. Once you recycle your bags, it's up to your local authority, for better or worse, to decide what to do with them. If you're watching this video, then odds are this is the sort of thing that matters to you. So what is the best thing you can do? First and foremost, reuse is the most important factor. 
Depending on your needs, either reusing standard carrier bags or being very diligent about reusing the hardier plastic-based bags is the best way to go. Cotton bags, as we've learned, are truly the worst option. If you already have them, of course use them. But perhaps we shouldn't be buying any more. If you liked the video, perhaps consider subscribing.